Let's see who. Oh, we only have. Oh, we can get a donut shop. Oh, we're totally getting a donut shop. Charlotte's Donuts. Please. I don't even care what the other guy's paying me. Please move right in. Yes. Donut. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. Today, we are starting to play Project High Rise. Why are we starting to play Project High Rise? Apart from the fact that I generally like tycoon and buildy games in general, we're playing Project High Rise because Penge at the Geek Cupboard told me to. In very strong words. Twice. He insisted. So we're doing it. I was messaging Penge, and he had said, Hey, you should check out Project High Rise. Uh, I think you'd really like that. It's a cool game. I did it on my channel, and it did really well. And I think you might enjoy it, because I know you like those kind of games. And I said, Okay, that's fine. And then a little bit later, he messaged me again and said, No, you should play Project High Rise in about the most strongly worded way that I have ever seen Penge word anything. So here we are. I said, okay, I will play Project High Rise. I will absolutely do that. And I checked it out, and it is a lot of fun. It's exactly, uh, for those of you who are old like I am and remember Sim Tower, this is really right along the same lines. There's not going to be a lot of surprises to anyone who played Sim Tower, and I loved Sim Tower. I played the heck out of Sim Tower back in the day. Way back then, when Sim City first came out, uh, there was a big rush to slap the word Sim on everything and make a game out of it. Sim Tower was one of the best ones, which is basically what we're doing right now. We're going to build a skyscraper. I've gone through the tutorial section, and I did like 30 minutes of sort of an easy mode game just to get a handle on the base mechanics but let's go ahead and start a new game um, I'm gonna go away from easy mode I'm gonna go oh actually easy is not beginner okay we're sticking with easy then all right I'm, I'm not that good at this game I, I learned that in my initial sort of test run of this we're not gonna do unlimited cash and resources that's just kind of a cheat so let's just go with what we got on easy mode not beginner mode easy mode and see what we can do with project high-rise Okay, so let's pause, 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 and figure out what we've got to work with here. We have our basic first floor thing going on here. And the one thing that I learned from my first sort of test drive of this is we need to start making money really, really quickly. Um, I ran out of money very fast in this game. So I want to start getting some, well, paying tenants in here for sake of a better term. But... I want to extend the ground floor more than what we have right now. Uh, we've got a long, long stretch of land that we can work with here. So I want to do a little bit more than just this. I think this is a little restrictive. So let's start... Um I'd love to keep the supply closet, which is what this is right here. This is our power, our phone, and our cable TV. And we're going to need one of those, well, pretty much everywhere. Power is kind of a pain in the neck to work with. Um, not in terms of the mechanic. It's just that everyone needs power, and it, it costs money to route these things. Utilities is where I crashed and burned on my first playthrough. I just spent way too much money on utilities. So let's, uh, let's just do something very, very simple, like extend our ground floor a little bit more than what it is now because I'd like this to be a little bit bigger than that. So let's start with that. That looks good. And let's tick time along so these guys will actually start building it. Here come our builders. And this is our construction office where they live. They live in the basement and they build things. That's a perfectly good thing for them to be doing. So let's move time on a little bit faster because apparently they're going to walk in the door and have their coffee break before they start building it. Typical contractors. Typical contractors just walk in the door, and immediately it's time for a coffee break. Don't even start working, kids. Just, you know, sit down, drink your coffee, think about working. Typical contractor. And I say that as a contractor, so, uh, you know, I, I, I know from whence I speak, as they say. You're already done. You're just leaving your compadre up there to finish it off by herself. That's fine. That's fine. And, and she's not happy. Why aren't you happy? You were, you were sort of only semi-happy. All right, well, well, we'll conquer you in a bit. Now, 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 we need to get some paying customers in here. So I want to leave this bit as 
kind of a potential lobby in the future where people can come in and I'm not even necessarily ruling out extending this even further. So I'm basically going to start from the back and work my way in with some paying customers. Um, we don't have a whole lot of options right now because our prestige is zero and we want to keep bumping up our prestige to get better and better stuff and get better, higher quality tenants in here and open up all the cool things that you can do in this game. And there are some really cool things in this game. I'm actually, I'm glad Penge recommended this because I'm really excited to play this and I, I hope you'll, it'll, you'll have fun watching it. So let's put one office there, one office there, one office there, and one office there. That looks good. And now we need to get some tenants in there. Yes, I know I have empty space for rent. Um, probably don't show that again. I'm pretty sure what rent means. So what, who can we get in here? We have two insurance offices that are potential tenants and two accounting offices that are potential tenants. We can't do the legal yet because we need uh, a greater variety of small restaurants. And that actually might be our next move because one of the other things I crashed and burned on in my test drive play was people uh, had nothing to eat and they were really unhappy about that and they wanted things to eat. Eagle Insurance Company would like to move in and pay me 85 money rent. Yes, please. And let's see. A Nikis, a Nikis tax office wants to move in. Um, oh, Ronnie Valhaus here. Ronnie Vlejos Franco CPA won't move in until we build some food court restaurants. Well, aren't you a little picky, Ronnie? All right, well, let's get the tax office in there. And can we get that last insurance office in there? Ho and Co. Okay, Ho and Co. I already like you. You're already my star tenant. I'm going to do everything I can to keep you happy because the name of your company is Ho and Co. There you go. Have that. Um, and we should probably get some power going in their direction because they're probably going to be pretty fussy about having, you know, electricity and things like that. So let's drag our power line through the three offices. I'm not going to go nuts. Let's not power up the empty office. There's no reason to do that right now. And now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably get a phone going, a phone line going. Now, remind me where those live. Phone. There we go. Phone switchboard can add 10 phone connections. Well, that's not very much, to be honest. Uh, the mid-grade one adds 50 phone connections. But boy, that is 800 a day to upkeep that. See, this is where I crashed, is the utility costs are just crazy in this thing. Uh, 350 a day just to keep this basic phone line up. But let's do it. I mean, they're going to they're gonna start complaining about phones at some point. And then we're going to need phone lines. So can we uh, go say like this? Oh, that's fun. It makes, it makes a little phone sound when we do it. That's fun. I didn't actually hear that because I had this on mute the first time I played it. That is fun. I like that. All right. Let's well, at midnight, we've made a grand total of minus $1,108. So that's not very good. Um, it is the middle of the night here, so nobody's doing anything at this point. The only thing I wish this game had right now um, is a super fast button. So this is fast time. But still, absolutely nothing is happening in the middle of the night right now, so it is mildly annoying to have to sit through this somewhat slow crawl of time. Um, I would love to see a jump to the next morning button or something along those lines, but it's a petty complaint, to be honest with you. It's a slow building game. That's what it is. So really, you know, I should just learn to relax is the gist of this. I should just chill out and learn to relax and let time pass. However, in saying all of that, it is almost, I think, time for people to actually start showing up to work. And by showing up to work, I mean paying me some rent because, um, you know, we're, we're not going to have money for very long. Yay, everyone came to work. The accountants and the, the lawyer and, and whoever else lives here. Who are you? What's your deal? Annie, you work at the tax office and you're fairly happy. And what's your deal? You're Ray. Oh, you work at Ho & Co. I like you. Uh, Ray at Ho & Co. is fantastic and he's reasonably happy. And Sally at Eagle Insurance is reasonably happy. Okay, good. You know what, though? You're probably not going to stay happy for very long unless we get some food in this place. Now, where... I don't necessarily want to slap the food right next to the offices. I'd kind of kind of have rather have this be at the front door. So unfortunately, I'm going to spend a little bit more money, which I don't want to do, just to extend the building out a little bit further. 
So if you guys, builder guys and gals, um, could get on that and get off your morning coffee break, I kind of want to put the food at the front door, which is dumb because now I'm going to have to extend my utilities all the way over there, which is not nothing. Um, it costs money to do that, but I just, in terms of how I plan this building, I'd want to see the food at the front door. I'd want to walk in the lobby and grab a snack. That's that's how I would like to see this happen. So let's see what we can do with some food. We could put something right here, a uh, little food court thing. And then I'm going to leave these, this space blank for either more offices or maybe another food court thing. So yeah, guys, get on that. Let's see who, oh, we only have, oh, we can get a donut shop? Oh, we're totally getting a donut shop. Charlotte's Donuts. Please, I don't even care what the other guy's paying me. Please move right in. Yes, donut shop right at the front door. That makes so much logical sense. Absolutely. Uh, so, guys, go ahead and get that rocking and rolling. If you could, please, let's get the donuts in here. That is vitally important. Um, now, is the donut shop going to need water? Hmm. Because we haven't even addressed that yet. We've not even addressed the need for water. Uh, yep, apparently they do. Uh, thank you. That that just popped right, but right up and said, hey, we ain't got no water. Can't function without an electrical line. Can't function without a water hookup. Okay, well, that's going to cost some money. No doubt there. Uh, can we actually... Oh, where do I want to put that? You know what? Let's just do what we got to do here. And I also didn't really plan out very well where that water you know, sort of closet, I guess. Not a water closet. That's a totally different thing. But um, y you know what I'm trying to say here. Um, guys, come out and build me one thing there, please. If you could just kind of slam that up really, really quickly and get off your lunch break. The sooner you guys get this done, the sooner everybody is eating donuts. I want to be clear about that. Oh, well, everyone's gone home for the day. No one's going to have donuts today. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Infrastructure. Yes, please. Uh, no, not that. Totally don't do that, please. I just want the thing with the water. Yes, utilities. So water. We need a water meter thing down here. Okay. And a plumbing closet here. And that will connect that. Uh, something has displaced one of my tenants. They're less satisfied with renting pace. Uh, yeah, do actually show me that. What's your... Oh, yeah, we know about that, lady. We know that. We're trying to deal with that literally right now. I just stopped fixing that so I could come over and listen to you tell me to fix that. It's like a faulty towers moment all over again. Um, all right, so back to utilities. They need electricity in this sort of direction. Oh, this is going to cost some money. Okay, and they need water in this sort of direction. So, yeah, give me uh, some water pipes, please. Oh, that's a neat sound. I like that sound. Okay, that should satisfy them tomorrow, basically. Let me uh, blaze through to tomorrow morning and make sure that we have accomplished everything that they need us to do. Well, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and I see the donut shop is open. They're happy. So Charlotte's Donuts is open for business. That's cool. When everyone comes in, they can, well, all right, they can blaze right by the donut shop. You guys are really dedicated to your work. Did you see the donuts? There were donuts over here, guys. Everybody loves donuts. Why, why do you not love donuts? Well, more to the point, does that mean that this law office that didn't want to move in will now move in? Uh, you were, actually, you were an accountant, I think, or no, legal offices, yeah. Um, well, anyway, the guy who wouldn't move in, has your problem been solved now? You know, Ronnie is still not happy, needs a greater variety of food court restaurants. Ronnie, donuts. That's all I'm going to say to you. Ronnie, there are donuts. You don't need anything better than that. But apparently we do. And what's London's problem? Again, greater variety of food court restaurants. Okay, well, we do have the room, and we've already drawn the utilities over, and everyone went home for the, the night again. We may as well slap another food thing down. It's not going to kill us. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and put one there. There's already the water and power right there. And who's left that can... Uh, no, it's not already occupied. What else can move in there? Not another donut shop. That would be far too much competition. Authentic salads right next to the donut shop. That's fun. Because, you know, right after you've stuffed your face with donuts, you're going to want a nice green salad. So, sure. Move on in, guys. Move on in. Uh, we're hemorrhaging money. 
We're totally hammered. We're losing $500 a day, but that's actually not as bad as I thought. That's not as bad as I thought. Um, how did we do? See, we only lost $1,000 this day, so that's actually better than we normally do. Let's, um, while it's the middle of the night, let's take a look at the city contracts. Uh, proof of concept, concept, which is just what the contract we start with, and we need to get a daily rent of $1,000. Uh, so that's, you know, that's going to solve itself by itself. But what are the other contracts? Basic offices. The Department of Planning and Development wants to ensure that the city commercial tax base is diversified and not overly dependent on any one sector. Uh, cut to the chase here. They'd like you to move in a diverse group of 16 small offices. Well, that's totally feasible. Uh, that it's not going to happen immediately. I think we've got, what, four offices going right now. It's not going to happen immediately, but we could do that. And studio apartments, cut to the chase, cons construct 10 studio apartments. Well, we haven't even got that started yet, so that's probably not a good contract. But I think I will take the basic office contract. There doesn't seem to be any time limit on these, so sure. Basic offices. All right, there we go. So uh, we still actually we only have three active offices right now. We still need to get somebody moved in here. Uh, the salad bar place is open for business. Does that mean you will finally move in here? Yes, you will. Ronnie Franco, CPA, has finally has enough food in this building for him to move in. You complete pig, Ronnie Franco. You got salads and donuts, and you pay us 140 a day. That ain't nothing. Uh, actually, London and Company pays us $5 more. That's not bad at all. Uh, you do expect courier service and copy services. We'll address that down the road. But you know what? Ronnie's just been kind of mildly annoying me with his request for food. So come on in, Ronnie. You, you, can, you can work in our building. I need to remember to leave space here for an elevator. Because that, that, that would be a real surprise if we limited this to the ground floor because I just forgot to put in an elevator. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and do that now? That would seem sensible. Elevator. Uh, let me just see what else I can block out here. Hang on. One, two, three, four. That's an office. One, two, three, four. That's another office. And then we've got five left. Boy, that's an awkward space. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, let's throw the elevator up here just so I don't forget to put it in. That would be sensible. And let's uh, let's actually go ahead and throw down another office. I think that's a, it's a good time to do that. So I could get I could actually get two more offices in here and still have two blocks left. What are what are stairs? Where show me stairs, guys? Uh, how many blocks do they take up? Oh darn, they take up more than that. They take up four blocks. That's mildly annoying. All right, well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Yeah, let's get another office in here. You know what to heck with it? Let's put two offices in here. There we go. Do we have two more tenants? Oh, legal offices. We uh we got stuff we can do with legal office. City detective services. Oh yeah, we're totally getting a private eye in this building. Yes, please. Yes, please. Private eye. Thank you. Uh, legal offices. McCarthy Law Office. Stein Investigations. Well, I don't think we could have two private eyes right next to each other. That doesn't seem good. Or N.H. Rob Robison. Robison. Robison? Oh, okay. A thing happened. Um, oh, dear. We lost $1,430 yesterday. But you know what? I built a lot of stuff. That makes sense. Um, the Investigations Place is actually paying us the most money. Any other good takers? How about accountants? London and Company still wants to move in. Well, we are looking for diversity, so let's take, um, I'm going to take McCarthy. They don't pay us as much, but, jeez, oh, I, I, I just, you know, from a role-playing perspective, I don't want to put two private eyes right next to each other. Okay, what's your issue? We've run out of phone lines, uh, haven't we? Yeah, we've just run out of basic, like, we don't have enough phone things. Uh, we, that produces 10, and total demand is 2. Total utilization is only 20%. What's your problem? What's your deal? You have a phone line. You have a phone line. You totally have... Do you, oh, did I not extend it? Oh, that's probably exactly what I didn't do. I did not extend it, did I? Nope. You don't have a phone line. Sorry. There you go. You got phones now. Live long and prosper with that. All right. Let's... Uh, these guys moved in? Yep, they're moved in. All right. Let's see how much money we hemorrhage at the end of this day and then figure out what we want to do next.
All right, next morning, everyone is back at work. The donut shop is rocking and rolling. The salad bar just got into work. Everyone's looking pretty good. And I just thought of something perfect we can put into this weird little awkward two block space here, which is some trash receptacles. People like to throw out trash. I know that about people. I'm not a psychologist, but I know people like to throw trash away, um, you know, where they aren't is really what I'm going for. So wherever they are, they want the trash to be somewhere different. And I think the collection, oh, it's just, oh, it's just a little too big. Darn it, darn it. I was hoping that would be a three block room, the trash collection area. All right, well, we're gonna have to pull the basement over a little bit, aren't we? We're only losing $35 a day though. That's not that bad. You know, for me in the Tycoon game, that's pretty darn good to be honest with you. I'm only losing 35? Not bad, not bad. Let me, here's one thing that I wanna do, and then I'm gonna basically say the ground floor is effectively done, is I wanna pull actually the basement out a little bit more just to have somewhere to put that um, trash receptacle area, the uh, trash collection room. So yeah, I just wanna pop, oh geez, did I still not get it right? Wow, that's a five block space? Wow, that, that ain't nothing. It's taking up a bunch of room. Yes, yes, money. Uh, we lost $1,024 yesterday. Yay! Okay, so guys, if you could just hop over and build that one last tiny little thing there. So I can put this guy, boom, right there. Thank you. All right, now we've got somewhere to put the trash. And we've got two restaurants. Well, two sort of cafe areas. And one of them is a donut shop, which is very, very exciting. And we have an assortment of offices, all of whom have phone lines and electricity and whatnot. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with the ground floor right now. I, I haven't ruled out extending it farther in either direction, but I think I wanna start next time building up. I think, uh, you know, this is a skyscraper building game. It is Project High Rise, not Project Ground Floor. So in the next part, let's look at uh, extending our reach a little bit onto the second floor and who knows, maybe even above. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time.